This Montgomery County mother accused of abandoning her two children was all smiles when she was arrested three states away. Yeah, kind of a bizarre photo there. Well, officers found Raven Yates in Alabama more than two months after she vanished. ABC 13's Brianna Connor is getting new facts on her arrest. And Brianna, what's next for this woman? Raven Yates still needs to be processed in Mobile, Alabama before she's brought back here to Montgomery County to face the charges against her. Detectives working this case had been looking for Yates for about three months. I'm told law enforcement in Mobile had to break down the bedroom door of an older man's apartment to find her. The popularity of it uh, got a lot of people interested in it. Raven Yates gained thousands of followers and has been trending on social media ever since she made headlines for accusations of abandonment. Roman Forest Police say she left her 12 year old daughter and three year old son all alone for two months. Investigators say they had to fend for themselves with little food or medicine at this house on Maplewood Ridge Drive while Yates lived in Alabama. I've never seen anything like that and I've never seen anybody play into the camera and play into the uh, social media as she has. The entire time Yates was posting provocative images like these online while fully aware there was a warrant out for her arrest. Roman Forest Police Chief Stephen Carlisle says tips poured in from the public and that's what eventually led to her arrest in Mobile. This photo capturing Yates in cuffs and seemingly unbothered by the allegations that she put her own children in danger. I think was playing for the camera. She, she wanted to have a smile. She wanted to look good. Yates' 12 year old is with her father who lives out of state. Police say the child was afraid to tell her dad what was happening at first because she was worried she'd be separated from her brother who has a different dad. At last check, Yates' other children were safe with relatives while she prepares to head back home now. We're waiting for her to be extra back to Montgomery County and then uh, of course we'll be able to interview her and uh, find out her side of the story and uh, we'll go from there. If convicted, she could spend 20 years behind bars and away from social media attention. In Montgomery County, I'm Brianna Connor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.